is Jenny here. Just letting you know, I'm in my closet. I just moved into a new place and this is the only place I can have a good filming spot. So here we are. You can see my drawers, my jackets. Don't worry about that. I have here a junk journal that I have made by hand. Second one I've ever made. The first one I ever made was this one. Made it out of cardboard, put some paper on it, made a binding with thread, and I didn't touch it after I made it. It's got some pretty cool papers in here, a little postcard, pretty cool magazine sheets, that's awesome. Another postcard. Just little bits and pieces in here. I tried to do a little bit of something in here, but I wasn't feeling it. And these papers I made too. Like that, I just painted over some pattern paper. This one I made myself. You know, stuff like that. But. Like I said, I wasn't feeling it, so I decided not to do anything in here, even though I love the papers I made. I made these. That one too. And this is the last little book. I had like a little tuck spot. Papers, papers. I might come back to this one and work in it someday. And then I glued down this last paper. I don't know. Very, very, very rough draft just to get an idea for what I was doing. And then I made this one. I made it in a day. I made it in two days cloth bound. I used this rough cloth. I found it like Goodwill. I think it came with like a flower pattern and I almost used this but I'm glad I didn't because you can see, I don't know if you can or not, the tacky glue that I used. You could see it through the fabric. You can also th see my threading, which is why I did the fabric in the first place. But yeah, you can see the glue through the fabric. And so I'm glad I didn't ruin that good fabric with that glue. But then what I did, I did this today. Glued down a yellow piece of paper, did some gold tape on top of it. And then I did a picture on top. So now it looks cute. And it's got five signatures and as you can see they are all uneven <laughs> i don't know i did not measure at all so they are totally not even even a little bit you can tell probably better with this one not perfect but i still love it let's just dive in here Five signatures, all different paper, pockets, pieces of paper. I tea dyed a lot of paper for this. This was floor plans for a apartment we were looking at, but we didn't go to. I did this today. Glued in some stuff. I've already worked in this a little bit. Put some tape. This is a label from some jeans is called bamboo cowpico label cowpico is like an asian milk drink but it doesn't use milk and it's very odd i did this today taped it in there little postcard from a paper pack that i have Floor plans. Took some poetry paper and tea dyed it and connected it with part of a Whole Foods bag. Image I got from a friend from a pen pal. Made a little pocket for 
pen pal. She typed five pages and sent them all to me. I was not expecting that. But that's pretty awesome. Next signature, I folded over some tissue paper. I put this in here a couple weeks ago. I'll work in here when I feel like it, but not all the time. Oh, this is a pocket too. It's got little scraps in there. I made this. What I did is I took one of those clear flat alphabet sets and I just dyed the whole thing and stamped. Makes a really good pattern. This I did. Tissue paper. Textbook stuff. I did this today too. It's just abstract art and then part of a book. Poppies are my favorite. Another letter I oh that little picture when we were moving out of the old place into this one. Little flip up daily. Parts of receipts, I like to put them down. What did I buy there? I bought a lot of uh, art supplies. I think that's when I bought art supplies for this book and I, I just slapped that in here. More art supply uh, receipts. Do more with less. And the reason I'm inspired to film again, because I know I haven't filmed in a long time. I'm sorry, guys. But the reason I'm inspired to film again is because for a while I was watching uh, journaling videos from channels. And they were alright. They were pretty cool. But I realized with the more popular journaling videos, I'm always focused on the things they have. Like, oh my god, those stickers, and oh my god, the subscription box they got, and oh my god, the hauls, and the washi, and the stamps, and the yada, yada, yada. I was getting so, so focused on what they had rather than what they were doing. But then, lately, I've been watching channels that I used to watch before that, and all they do is just journal. They don't show off their fancy supplies, they don't... Say, oh, I have these new products out now. Oh my god, new subscription box. No, they just journal. That's all they do. And that's what I want to go to, is back to the basics. So, I like this. I found a little cookbook with recipes. And I, like, cut them out. And it's like columns, and I just cut them out to use them. But yeah, so I just thought, go back to the basics. Just do. Don't worry about what you have. Don't worry about what you can, you can get. Don't worry about what they have. Just do what you want. Oh, oh, I did this one today. I carried it over to the other page. And I'll skip around too whenever I do stuff in the journal. I'll skip around. I won't do one, two, three pages. I won't do a theme. I won't do a certain look. I won't do today. I'm going to show you calligraphy. No. Meal tag. This coffee is so good. Oh yeah. 
I know they make candy and it's really popular, but the coffee is my favorite. I drink it every day. That's a postcard I got. And that's it. That is what she wrote. And then, of course, they have stuff back here. So, but yeah, that's my junk journal, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will be filming more of working in this junk journal in the future. I have the craft room now, so I'll be able to show you guys how I work. And hopefully I can get back into the swing of things. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!